morning, guys. Another day. <laughs> so if we haven't told you guys yet, we are we we are in Kenya, but um we took a little trip to Khalifa. I hope I'm saying it right, which is right next to Mombasa. And we've been staying at a Airbnb right off of the beach. Yeah, it's the Indian Ocean. It's pretty cool. It's a very beautiful beach. White sand beach. And it's very quiet here. It's very nice. Let's go see what these guys down here is doing. Lucky enough, I'm able to walk down this little path from the little villa we stay in at because uh because um the gate was a little bit rusty on one side it's actually two sides on one side but the other side we was able to use the key so we was able to just walk straight on down and and get to the beach from there instead of going all the way around it's a good thing we came out last night that way we don't have to walk all the way around It's so beautiful like this, I expected to just be loaded with people. But it's not, it's only a few people out. Just a few people out today, that's it. Which is perfect. That means we have the whole beach to ourselves, pretty much. <laughs> this girl needs to know how to swim because she walks into the water by herself. So independent. And Anything you want to say to the people? <laughs> Nothing? Sasa. Okay, that's fine. She's just going to enjoy this beautiful water. Out here trying to run in the water by herself. You got to watch her like a oh. hawk. They missing beach. out. I know. It feels like it's a private beach that you're enjoying all by yourself. <laughs> but on that case, I just gotta watch Mom B because she over here like has no fear of the water, just running straight into it. So <laughs> she don't want to play with no sand. <laughs> in that case, yeah, we just gonna enjoy ourselves right now. It is, it is pretty warm. The only thing that's cold is just the wind, but the water is warm, which is such a nice, it's such a contradiction <laughs> to most beaches, you know? Yeah. But. So if it was out here earlier, as you already know, because I was talking to you guys earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, some things that came up and we had to go and take care of that real quick. Like food? <laughs> yeah, food. 
Mommy fell asleep. Yeah, Mommy fell asleep. So now we decided to come back out here, so here we are. So just taking a little walk. It's actually a lot of people out here now. Yeah. Yeah. So which is pretty cool. I'm glad that actually happened. Because if we just would have stayed out early and been swimming all day, we would have never seen all these people on the beach. That's true. So it's always good whenever you go to a certain place and you can see the locals enjoying the beach too. You know? So. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear us. We forgot our mics. Yeah, like we always do because we're not professionals. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to the beach all the time. If I seen a goon, I'd take it home. And I remember one time I had like, I went to the beach and I had like five of these things. And my mom was like, why are you taking all these seashells home? But, yeah. Were they big? Here's a good cool one. It's also very interesting how things work in different places, or in different countries, because in most countries, whenever it's high, in the evening, it'll be high tide. And in the morning, it'll be low tide. But here in the morning it's high tide, in the afternoon it's low tide. Right? It seems like that. Because right here the water was hitting the rocks. Yeah. And the water's all the way down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When it was in the ocean and stuff, like you gotta kinda be careful because some areas is really, really rocky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the water is not here. You know, whenever they say like be careful of the water, like if it comes in strong, you could really get hurt. It's not only the water, but it's the rocks. Because looking at this, this would just cut you. Can you imagine the water coming and it goes? You know, just horrible. Or just getting thrown down here. Oh, look. It's water here. Of course. But anyway, oh, it's a shell. The last thing you want. Because this feels painful. Mm -hmm. Just even touching it and even looking at it. Yeah. Bad business. It's cool to see that this rock is looking like this because of the water. I know. The water. The yeah. water. <laughs> I know. Did this to it. Wonder how long it took. Thousands of years, maybe. Crazy. I know. And, and we over here be like, we just want to go play in it. <laughs> you forget how strong it is. It's it's really nice and relaxing, and there's always just a different vibe coming to the ocean, and then. Like I said, it's cynical. It's just amazing when you're in a company. What would you say? I don't know. I never knew Africa had beaches like this. You okay. know what I mean? I know there are beaches here, but you know, I didn't know that there were like beaches like this. This is a very beautiful beach. And most of the time when people think of beautiful beaches, they don't think about coming to Africa for a beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? At least I've never heard of anybody say, well, I'm going to go to Africa for a beach. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was always, you know, yeah, something like that. But or in Asia. Or in Asia. But the Indian Ocean here, what happened? It's the one that's in Asia. It's yeah. Indian Ocean. Yes. It's the same. Yes. Very beautiful. Clear water. Yes. It's Very not beautiful. as crowded as especially how you hear how the, yeah. the at least I'm saying based on what you hear, because we didn't go to any beaches in Asia other than like of course like the resort, which is of course controlled. Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah. Because if you look on this side, it's nobody. Last video we did in El Salvador, and we was like, that beach is a hidden gym? No, this is a hidden gym. Oh my god, this is This a... is the true hidden gym. Can I, can I say something? Because that one thing, whenever you do hear the people going to the coast in, in Kenya, you hear Mombasa, you hear Diani, you hear Malindi, but you really never hear about Kilifi. Yeah, this I, is a hidden gym. And especially, and to be more specific, yeah, over here in Kilifi. And it's an amazing, because it's not openly crowded. Yes. This is hidden to the extreme. Yeah. Is it hidden? Is it, it's our little secret. <laughs> Should I guess not even more? Because we're telling these guys. Oh, yeah. Well, then yeah. you. Come on, 20 people. You know what? It's a secret amongst us. <laughs> we don't really know where we're going next after that. Oh my god, we're going to figure it out. But, we got like yeah. two weeks to figure out where we're going next, and we have not even started. We have zero. Why, why do we do this to ourselves? Oh, well, that's just the way we always do it. But a lot of times, Like I was saying before, instead of having all these places in your head you want to go, 
when it's last minute to look, because you know, a lot of times we're budget travelers, if you cannot tell. You know, we don't really, it looks, some people would think, well, it's, 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 it's glam, but we don't, we're not luxury travelers. We're budget travelers. We walk on our feet to go everywhere. We use public transportation when we go. We don't be doing all that old fancy stuff. You know, we cook our foods at home. We cook pretty you know much I mean? all the we time. You know, sometimes we will go and treat ourselves, but to save money so we can keep going a little bit longer, mm -hmm. we try to like do things on our own. Yeah. You know, if we can walk somewhere and explore, we'll do that. Or if we can just get in a little tuk tuk and just get in one of them and go where we want to go, we'll do that. And one, know, but, yeah, and one thing that I've noticed that really did help us a lot save is in the very beginning we were move, 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 move. Mm -hmm. But when we actually decide to stay at a place for some time, yeah. that really does yeah. help you kind of save, yeah. regroup, mm -hmm. strategize. Because yeah. whenever you do the go, 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 you don't ever have the chance to really just embrace, you know, the culture mm -hmm. that you're surrounded. So, because just to say, this man has turned Kenyan <laughs> because yeah. he's like, I need ugali once a day. Ugali yeah. is cornmeal mm -hmm. with water mixed together. Mm -hmm. He needs it once a day because that thing fills you up. Yeah. <laughs> You find out because we post on our Instagram where we're gonna go usually around that time. It, that's pretty much up to date about what's going on, and that's how you'll find out <laughs> where we're going because we posted it right there. But hopefully, we'll do better at that. Look at the night before, <laughs> and no stress, no more stress.